Hi everybody, Texmex here. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today, we're taking a look at the GP100 and the SP101. Now, both of these are chambered in 357 Magnum. Uh, the SP101 and the GP100 do come in uh, different calibers, but that seems to be the most popular. Now, this is a three inch version, which I think is the prettiest looking SP101. And this is a five inch version GP100, which is a, a more rare version. Typically they're in a four inch or just over six inch barrel. And I wanted to do this follow up video and throw in the SP101 p101 because a month or so ago i ended up shooting the gp100 trying to chronograph some different 357 magnums through it the chronograph was a little too close so the speeds i were getting were not consistent and were way too high the speeds were not registering correctly but instead of just doing a part two just shooting the gp100 i figure i'd show the sp101 as well just to show a little bit of differences between them now the sp101 is a five round uh double action revolver while the gp100 is a six round Although I think they make some that have different cylinders that may hold more ammunition. But like I said, these are the more standard ones. And as you can see, the SP-101 is significantly smaller than the GP-100. Uh, the SP-101 is a lot easier to carry. Uh, but when you're shooting 357 Magnum out of it, it's obviously a lot harder uh, to shoot just because you're going to have a lot more recoil out of this smaller frame than you will out of the GP-100. That being said, the SP-101 is a full steel frame. So it is a relatively heavy little uh, revolver as well. So both beautiful double action revolvers. Uh, there are differences in their weights. What I'll do is right now on the screen on this side, I'll put uh, the specs for the GP100. And on this side, I'll put the uh, specs for the SP101. Now what I plan to do today is shoot these. I'm at 35 yards and you know, it's not going to be a competition to see which one's more accurate. I just want to see how well I can shoot them. Uh, and this is the one I used in the thumbnail, but it's not going to be the one that I shoot as far as the SP-101. I really like the three inch version. I think it's the prettiest version out there. And as you can tell, I have matching grips on these. Uh, I love these wood insert grips and this uh, red wood is just, it's so, so pretty. So I have them on both. Uh, the Hogue overmold grips or larger grips are probably more comfortable and make these firearms easy to shoot. But this is one of those circumstances where I am going on form over function because I just think these are way too pretty. That being said, uh, at 35 yards, because uh, the sights on this guy, I mean, they're just integral sights. Uh, there's basically a notch on the back there. And as you can see, I've painted my front side orange. Uh, it's not terribly hard to shoot, but at 35 yards, I think I'll do much better with the four inch SP-101 that I have. I have in my cool little holster here. So I'm gonna actually shoot this one. I just wanted to show off my three inch because it's such a pretty revolver, uh, but we'll end up shooting uh, this SP-101 four inch barrel uh, with uh, uh, the GP100 uh, just because this one does have adjustable sights in the back and it has this fiber optic front sight that makes it much much easier to hit and I think at 35 yards I'll hit much better with this one than I will with that one. And as far as the GP100, well, it's cheating because it does have this RMR on there. It's a Burris Fast Fire 3. Got this special little bracket to uh, mount it a long time ago. I know a lot of people uh, don't think that there should be uh, red dots on revolvers, but you know what? It makes it a relatively accurate revolver at longer ranges than my eye would be able to shoot using iron sights. So uh, what we have is we have four types of ammunition here. I'm gonna shoot a light and heavier 338 Special and then a light and heavier 357 Magnum. Them. We'll see how they group. We'll see how they uh, register on the chronograph. So for the 38 Special, we have 130 grain uh, Winchester full metal jacket and 158 grain uh, Federal lead round nose. And on the 357 side, we have this Remington UMC 125 grain jacketed soft point. And for the heavier round, we're going to use this Federal 357 Magnum 158 grain jacketed soft point. Now, I will say I haven't had a lot of luck with the Remington UMC when it comes to 38 Special and 357 Magnum. Not that it's a terrible ammunition, but it just doesn't seem to be as consistent. But I guess we will answer that today with the chronograph. So let me go ahead and get the target set up and uh, get the chronograph ready. So we're going to start with the uh, Winchester 38 Special 130 grain out of the GP100. I'm going to put my phone close to the camera so you can hear the chrono as it calls it out. Let's see how this does at 35 yards.
884. Ooh, it looks like it's shooting really 783 803 802 Was that 6? Yeah, I guess that was 6. Okay. So, not terribly bad. It looks like I was hitting relatively low. Let me move the chronograph a little bit to the left and uh, we can do the same ammunition out of the SP-101. And now the Winchester 130 grain, 38 special out of the SP-101. 854. 855. I cannot see where I'm hitting. 817. 728. 839. I think that's five rounds. That's five rounds. Looks like I was able to actually hit better with the open sights with the SP-101. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and put in the uh, 158 grain in both of these and see how they do. The, the 38 Special, that is. Now we're going to shoot the 38 Special 158 grain lead round nose. I'm leaving the same targets up because I assume it's going to be a different point of impact. I'm hoping it's a different point of impact. I'm fairly certain it will be. Uh, so... Once again, the GP100, I'm gonna shoot on the right target. Just my shooting position here to make sure I'm over the chronograph. That didn't register. Let me double check something here. 773. Okay. 700 just took a second <laughs> okay a lot slower 771 727 753 735 Did I shoot six already? I should count 751 And that's six Okie dokie So the SP-101 With the 158 grain lead round nose 38 special Seven hundred fifty six. Seven hundred thirty eight. Seven hundred fifty seven. That's five. Seven hundred sixty one. Okay, seem very consistent. So let's go take a look at our targets. Oh, a couple of surprises here. One is, it seems that the 130 and 158 grain, they seem to, uh, well, I guess I wonder if this is a low one, but uh, I'll be able to see from the video. But either way, they seem to group around the same area. I assume the lower one is going to be one and these higher ones are going to be another. Uh, same thing over here, yeah, but they seem to group almost in the same spot. I, I'm surprised. I really thought they would uh, uh, be a lot more difference between uh, the point of impact on those two different weights. The other surprise is that the SP-101 with the uh, open sights, iron sights, did a little bit better. Uh, I'm not sure what to tell you about that. It might just be that I have a little more experience shooting this one. It might be that the SP-101 likes the 38 Special more. I'm not sure, but Let's do this now with the 357 Magnum. I'm gonna put two more uh, targets up and uh, we'll do the same, uh, same drill one more time.
And now we're gonna try the 357 Magnum 125 grain jacketed soft point Remington UMC. So like last time, we'll start with the GP and shoot to the uh, target on the right. Woo! Boy, oh boy, a lot more kick. What did it say? How much? 1,466. 1,438. 1,444. Well, that one didn't register. 1,450. 1,434. Well, that was pretty consistent. Six rounds. Looks like they're hitting low as well. Low and to the right. Now, let's see how the SP-101 does. This is going to kick a lot more. <laughs> Once again, let me readjust myself here. One thousand four hundred thirty. One thousand four hundred twenty. That's five. One thousand four hundred twenty-five. Okie doke. Let me go take a glance, just want to see where I'm hitting, and uh, then we'll set up the next one. And now we're going to finish up shooting the 158 grain jacket of soft point 357 Magnum uh, Federal American Eagle out of both the GP100 and SP101. Once again, I'm hoping that the point of impact is a little different than the existing bullets, but luckily I have the camera down there so you can see where they're hitting. And hopefully the chronograph will also register them. So let's see how, how these do. 1,200. Really thought I'd be getting closer to center. 1,186. 1,228. Ooh, the sun's peeking out from the clouds. 1,000. Didn't register that one. Must be the sun. Okay, let's try one more. 1,224. I think that was six. Nope, there's one more. 1,192. And that's six. And now the SP-101. It's going to kick a little more than the GP. Oof. 1,233. 1,176. 1,187. Oh, that was five. I think that was five. That, that was five. Okay, perfect. Let's go take a look at our target. 
well, it seems that when it came to the 357 Magnum, uh, the GP100 started to shine or outshine the SP101. <laughs> you can see the SP101 is all over the place. And I don't know if that's, I, I didn't feel myself flinching, uh, but obviously, uh, it's open sights versus an RMR, um, but that recoil probably just does cause you not to quite stay as accurate with the, uh, look at this, look at that little group. And to be fair, that's what I had that GP sighted in for. Not necessarily that American Eagle ammo, but 158 grain. And I think I had it sighted in for closer to 50 yards and we're shooting at about 35. So that's a great little group. I'm very impressed with that. So a lot of fun. Obviously, if you want to shoot 38 Special, the SP-101 is, is really nice because it's lighter it's not as big it only holds five rounds versus six but it's it's just much more carryable and you can have 30 uh excuse me 357 magnum rounds in there if you want something more powerful um and the gp100 is a workhorse it's it's heavy but boy you can shoot whatever you want out of it and if you ever run out of ammo you can just you know beat somebody over the head with it because it is as heavy as a brick uh but i'm gonna top off this video let's do a little uh slow motion I'm going to do a side view of slow motion. I'm going to put two rounds in each revolver. The first round will be a 38 Special 158 grain. The second round will be a 357 Magnum 158 grain. And I'll try to squeeze them off in quick succession so you can see uh, the difference in recoil from both. Well, hopefully that uh, footage on the slow-mo came out well. Uh, this was another fun shoot, 357 Magnums, another round that I like quite a bit. I like shooting it out of revolvers. I like shooting it out of lever actions. It's just a fun round uh, that's very, very potent. And uh, it's a practical round because you can always shoot 38 specials. Uh, you can shoot heavier loads, lighter loads uh, out of rifles. They are certainly capable of taking down medium-sized games at decent distances. So, uh, you know, it's a good round and one that uh, I like quite a bit. But as always, I had a great time. I hope you did too. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video.